What's up, Chef? Today is going to be a tutorial on everyone's favorite food. Now, everyone loves barbecue, pasta, Mexican food, chicken wings, chicken parm, even burgers. But everyone knows the best food ever is pizza. In this video, I want to show you how to make better pizza at home. So let's go. start with the tomato sauce. It's easy to nail if you start with really good tomatoes. So in a bowl, you're going to add some crushed tomato. And to that, I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. I like the Graza olive oil. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can get some. Now, I prefer fresh basil. I'm going to use three or four leaves of torn fresh basil right in the sauce. You certainly can use dried basil and we'll actually use a little dried basil in this spice mixture. I'm just adding about a tablespoon of dried Italian seasoning. This one's homemade, but you can certainly buy it. Now in Buffalo, the pizza is made with usually garlic powder in the sauce, but I like to add this garlic salt. I'll also leave a description so you can get it. It's really, really a game changer. Now also some people here in the Buffalo area add sugar in their sauce. We're gonna skip that for now and head right into the dough. We'll add a generous, generous amount of olive oil onto the pan. And I'm using my pizza company. We make an amazing pizza dough. And soon we will ship it all over the country. So hopefully you'll get some soon. But you can either make your own or buy some of ours. But the key is having a tempered dough that you stretch gently. You don't want to overwork. I gently stretch the dough with my knuckles. And then once a circle is slightly formed, I'll put it on the pan. Then I'll continue to work out the shape with my fingers and make sure that crust stays nice and intact. Now, in this case, I'm feeling a little sticking, so I will pick up the pizza. I know I have enough olive oil, so I'll just kind of reset it, and I think we're good to go. I have my dough where I want it, but I'm actually going to walk away for a few minutes and let the gluten just relax. I'll come back, press it back out, and again, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil because I love olive oil, but that part is up to you. We'll add our sauce, and we will spread it out, and we want to make sure it's even and it rides all the way up the waves of the crust. Because I love basil, I'm going to do a little bit more basil right under the cheese. Speaking of cheese, today I want to use a fresh mozzarella that I'll just hand tear and just sporadically put on the pizza. No rhyme or reason, but just want to cover it. Now, pizzas are super customizable, so don't be afraid to experiment with new cheeses and new toppings. Now, for a little funk, I'm going to add fontina and parmesan. I love the bite of flavor on this pizza. Now, we launch it. Bake this pizza at 450 degrees for about 16 minutes. Now, every oven's different, so what we're gonna check for is that the crust feels hollow, doesn't feel dense and heavy. The cheese on top or your toppings look cooked, caramelized, crispy. Now, I wanna take this a little further, so I'm gonna broil for two to three minutes on high. Now, this is cooked where I want it. I'm gonna let it rest for just a few moments. So it's the perfect opportunity to get a little garnish. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that Fontina and Romano, tons more chiffonade of basil, and I'm gonna actually add some dried oregano and a little bit of chili flakes. Now again, once we slice this, I'm just gonna give it a couple seconds to just come back, relax, let the cheese settle. And we're about a few minutes away here from having a delicious pizza made at home. Save you a couple bucks. So give this one a try, and if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time.